So, you have stumbled across the Landmark Forum. Would you like to come inside? Would you like some cookies? We got drinks, we got refreshments. I'm just kidding, there's no drinks, there's no refreshments allowed in the forum at all. You have to take a break for those. What's up you guys, my name is Zuri Vankovic. Thanks for checking out another video. And chances are, if you're watching this one, you are curious or you've been invited to the Landmark Forum. So in this video, I wanna break down my experience with it. I can share with you some of other people's experience, tell you a story or two, just so you know exactly what you're getting into. And of course, what everybody wants to know, is it a cult? So a little bit of a background on Landmark. It used to be, be called EST, E-S-T, and it was a program from the 50s, 70s, up until the 80s, and then it transitioned to the Landmark Forum. So what Landmark is, how I describe it, it's a personal development program where you go in and you come out and have a life transformation in some way, shape or form. Now there's a lot of reason it gets a lot of backlash and it's super controversial and it gets a lot of judgments from the outside. And that's simply because it has a lot of culty vibes. So I'm definitely not gonna sit here and try and convince you that's not the case. However, I'd say it's almost more culty from the outside than it is from the inside. And saying that out loud definitely makes it sound a lot more culty than it is. And I'll explain why in a second. So Landmark is a worldwide organization and companies like Lululemon uh, with Chip Olsen have hired them and put a lot of their, they don't do that anymore, but they put a lot of their employees through this training. And that's how it blew up because Lululemon became a big brand, but it was so worthwhile for them to put people through this three-day seminar that they did that for over a decade. The reason it has such culty vibes is because of a few things. One, they have very specific language of how they label things. A lot of the words that they use, uh, they have different definitions for it, which was really weird at first, but you really get used to it. And for other people who are in Landmark, you know, it just makes sense. So you're not speaking a different language. The words you say sometimes just have a bit of a different meaning. I'll jump in and share why I even know about this or why I jumped in and did it about a year and a half ago, my initial Landmark forum. And so I was actually hanging out with a couple friends one night and we're downtown Vancouver playing a board game and it was super fun. And all of a sudden, uh, this friend group with you know three, me and two others, one guy brought up this landmark forum and the other guy mentioned that he'd done it. And so they started connecting and they had connected and started talking in such a way that I was so enthralled and so interested that I wanted, I'm like, what are you guys talking about right now? So they had such a strong connection off of that, they just found out that they both did it. And then they told me about it. I'm like, oh, that sounds like really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And so I did some homework onto it. And within three days I signed up because there was a local one in Vancouver. The reason it was so appealing to me was that I'm really into personal development and personal growth and doing that kind of work. That's just something that interests me. So that's why it was really appealing to me right away. Now I was definitely a little bit nervous and then I hesitant because it isn't cheap necessarily, you know, the three day seminar that they have you go to. But I decided to give it a shot because there was more for me to gain than there was for me to lose. The days are extremely long. I think it's 10 hours a day for three days and you're sitting in a chair and you're hearing other people speak and you're having one guy or girl lead you through the entire weekend. It was really cool because you got to meet, I don't know, a hundred other people in the same room and from completely different backgrounds, like completely diverse uh, people, uh, opinions, beliefs, whatever. And you're all crunched into this little incubator over the span of 72 hours. And what they say is anything is possible inside the Landmark Forum. So you get to peel back a lot of the limiting beliefs and you get challenged on a lot of the limiting beliefs as well, which I really like that because I have a lot of considerations and you know I'm trying to think limitless, but the reality is, you know, sometimes it takes another perspective or another person's opinion to be able to peel it off of your head or your face. And then you get, oh, wow, this is something I've been holding on to. So you get a lot of in your face confrontation with the way that, you know, you see things and you see the world, which is probably why it gets very controversial because people typically not necessarily narrow minded, but they want to hold on to their beliefs and they want to hold on to how they see the world for whatever reason. It's, it's what they know. Another thing that really makes the weekend interesting is the fact that it's a very emotional weekend for the people that go through it. It's, it's very highs, lows, you know, all sorts of stuff comes up from the surface. But what's interesting is 
the people running it, they don't really, they, they definitely get emotional sometimes. Some of them, every time that I've been to one, they end up crying. Um, and it's because they care so much. And sometimes you're like, oh, is this, is this staged or whatever? But the, my intuition said, wow, this person really does care about the transformation of, you know, everybody in this room so much. And they, they share really powerful stories, which are vulnerable too. So they're sharing things about themselves um, after you get to know them a bit. And it's really compelling. A really big thing that people get out of this is the fact that if you're stuck in a rut or if you're stuck hanging on to things that, you know, have happened to you in the past, Landmark is all about completing that and leaving it in the past so that you can create something new. Because a lot of the time we live by the stories of things that happen to us and we have trouble letting them go. And so they invite you in the opportunity to be able to let that go. So you don't have to carry that with you anymore. And so what's really amazing is sure, like I was able to let go of a bunch of stuff, but really is the other people there that, you know, suffer insane traumas, that suffer insane hardships in their life, that they finally complete things and they share that publicly, what, what they have gone through and what they've overcome. And you really get to see that journey, right? Some, some people are really callous going into it and they come out soft and enlightened and really happy. And not in the sense that they found, you know, eudaimonia and they've just, you know, hit nirvana and that would make it a lot more culty. But in a way, they come out completely different. And I think that's the whole idea is you go in one way and you come out at least 5% better. I think another reason Landmark gets a bad rap is because they are pretty pushy to get you into the program. So if you ever had like a pushy car salesman or like that experience, they don't care. They're like, hey, you need to be transformed. We're gonna get you in. What are you looking for out of life? We're gonna get it to you. Because anything's possible in this, we're gonna get it to you. Don't worry, just sign up, come later. And I didn't actually go to one of the uh, seminars to get you know signed up or like an info session. I was just so intrigued by my friend's conversation that I just signed up. But a big thing is almost like multi-level marketing where people invite their friends and family to get the transformation, but the people who invite you don't get paid whatsoever. All the money goes to Landmark and, you know, running ship and running costs there. And so that's a thing, though, people get really turned off is because they're like, oh, they were pressuring me to go to this thing. And at first, I was, I, I can totally get that because that's an uncomfortable position to be. But they care more about your transformation than looking like a pushy salesman than um, making you not like them. Like, they don't really care what you think because they know what's possible in it. And that, that's a really compelling thing for me too. They really take a stand for you to step into the unknown of what's possible for you. So at first that seemed like a big negative to me. I didn't wanna invite any of my friends and family because I know what happens. But then after that, I'm like, oh, heck no. Like we're gonna bring these people and we're, let's push them together to do this. Now, personally, I invited like 16 people to this thing just I enjoyed it so much and a lot of my close friends and family um, have actually gone through this which is which is awesome and we have different ways of communicating with it now with each other just because we have this common understanding and you know again it probably sounds a bit culty but a lot of my relationships have gotten a lot better since I've done this so for me it's a big payoff I think another positive that I got out of it personally is empathy you know, you hear a lot of these people's stories and you can't help but connect on an emotional level to what they're saying. And that stuff hits hard, right? So they, it's all about reality and getting really real. Because sometimes going through life, we can have a lot of surface level conversation and without getting to the meat and bones. Like, you know, what are you doing with your life? Are you fulfilled? Are you happy? You know, do you feel joy throughout your day? Or do, you, or do you feel sad throughout your day? Like, what are you anxious about? A lot of these things we don't talk about that you face a lot of these realities um, right there and you see yourself and what you're going through through other people's stories who have completely different backgrounds. So you do get connected on an emotional level with other people in the room. And I think that's just another really powerful experience. So all in all, I think to summarize a lot of the main benefits is one, the networking is really cool. You're showing up to grow as an individual with 50 to 150 other people who are there for similar reasons 
to come out better, stronger, happier, whatever. So that part's really cool. My relationships got better in terms of communicating with my family, my friends, uh, girlfriend, all of these things did get better after the fact. If I didn't do it, would I do it again and pay the money? A hundred percent. Yeah, no, absolutely. I definitely would. It's an invaluable experience. Not everybody loves it, right? But I'd say 90 to 95% of the people we did it with, it just kind of blew their mind in terms of what you can learn and experience in like as short as three days in terms of what's possible for you on the other side of that. You can get over the pushiness and you do care about personal development. And if there's something you want, right, whether that be a job, a relationship, uh, your quality of life, if there's something that you do want, you can go in and create that possibility and get personal coaching from the leader of the event, from other people and other leaders in the seminar to help you create that possibility and actually follow through on that. Because what they do is they get you to take action, whatever it is. And it's not like a business plan. It's not like that. It's like helping you get to the point where you know you have to do whatever it takes to do this for yourself, to feel empowered. And they don't make you do it, but they definitely take a stand to help you get there. And what's cool is, sure, your life's going to be transformed in three days, but a lot of us go back to our old patterns. And I've, been, I've seen Tony Robbins. I've seen a lot of these public speakers. And, you know, you do these events and you get so charged up. What's really cool as well is they have follow-up programs. So you don't do the same one twice. You have three different phases. And then they have seminars that you can go to and relearn things and go deeper and completely different subjects. Um, they call them seminars. And you it's just courses that you do once a week or whatever. And that way you get to integrate a lot of what you learned that weekend. And so you don't just forget it, right? Because there's so much that you cover and so much I personally don't remember. But if you do one of these seminars, you can learn more and kind of keep that transformation going. So there we go. You've made it this far. I want to say thanks for watching this. This is my review of the Landmark Forum. And it's going to be a different opinion uh, compared to anybody else out there. I think more often than not, people have a really good experience with it. It challenges you. It pushes you. And it forces you to look at you, yourself, and your potential. And sometimes... It's scary to look at those things. So I do appreciate you checking out this video. Uh, if you did want to support me, uh, hitting the like button, hitting a subscription, that would be greatly appreciated for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks again for watching this. Drop a comment below if you have done the Landmark Forum, if you're thinking about it, who invited you, and what was your experience if you did already see it. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.